facing the abyss and being alone can be can be daunting. You know what happens? I mean, there's no sure thing. We get older and we get maybe a little bit more vulnerable. And what's going to happen? Mortality, it can be very, very isolating and very, very scary, alone feeling. So I think through art we can find these like beautiful ways to connect and beautiful ways to not be alone with one another without having to say the words. People have described my work as being very surreal, very sort of otherworldly, dark and ominous at times, but I'm really uh, fascinated with the sort of idea of the abyss or the unknown and approaching that cliff and looking over it. So sometimes in my work it will feel a little sort of ominous or dark, but really that's just me facing the mystery of life. There's a big part of me that is, is completely inspired by the fact that we just merely exist on this planet. But the fact that we are walking around and, and we're alive is just nothing short than a miracle to me. I think sometimes I struggle with my, um, my mortality and, you know, where, where I'm at and why I'm in it, why I'm in where I'm at. Again, by expressing through the artwork the beautiful, magical thing, you know, life and, and being able to wake up every morning and express myself helps me to deal with that. People that view my work connect with it. I've seen people actually come to tears and I just am kind of completely blown away and of course excited to have that impact on somebody. But at the same time, I'm, I'm so supremely moved that I'm not alone in this world and that I can connect to somebody in a completely different language that nobody else speaks. But they can see it and they can sense it and they can understand that language. And that makes me feel very, very not alone in this world.